So, um, a few of you guys saw the graduation shirts that I made for my daughter. So, um, I got a couple questions on how I did it and I decided to make this video after I already got into it. So I'm going to bring you up to speed. The first thing I did was, uh, type my top and bottom letters. Um, you can basically use any blocky font font that you want. Um, this is impact is my go-to. And then I typed, uh, my word that I want to overlay with in it doesn't matter what color because the, once once we're done with this whole thing the color is not going to matter because it it's all going to be cut together well in my my case it'll all be cut to, cut together so I um you can just use anything I mean it doesn't have to be a font with the glyphs like I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right like what I'm using but uh, it is helpful so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this the color of the overlay word to white and then stroke it in black what just happened? Oh, I changed the color of my overlay. There we go. I want to stroke it in black, and I'm going to make that just a little bit thicker. So next we're going in, and we are going to rasterize the type. Go over here to the magic eraser tool, and I'm getting rid of... Where'd it go? Oh. You got to rasterize it and then convert to a smart ob object and then rasterize it again. Then you can go in and delete everything in the middle. Then go up to the magic wand tool and you want to select everything there. Click back on your blocky letters and go back to the magic eraser and you want to delete everything that is uh, black. Everything you don't want, basically. And then we're going to deselect. I am going to select both layers, merge, and then I'm actually just going to save this one as a PNG. Yeah. So I'm turning the background off. Go to save as. 